tutorial on how to make a anti-recoil tool in C++. So let's get right started right now by making the folder and you know what, we're not, and you know what, actually we're not making the folder. We're gonna go to the random word generator and we're gonna find out what we're gonna name this. So, <clears throat> you know what, I like that already. Sweep, recoil, there we go, awesome. The next thing you want to do is open up Visual Studio and do create a new project. Empty project, C++. Sweep recoil, select folder. Sweep recoil. Create. I don't know why I opened up my other monitor, but here we are. Then we just want to go add new folder, call it SRC. And you want to go add new item main.cpp. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to switch this to release. And we're going to do our imports. So we're going to go in slash include windows.h. Let me do this a few times. Okay, now that we've got all our includes, let's make our first class, which is going to be our mouse class. And we're going to have um, void, which is, we're going to make it um, a new function, first function. Now we're going to do the click. left down instead of x and y we're just gonna have zero 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 and we're gonna use c this underscore thread sleep uh, underscore four sc chrono milliseconds delay underscore ms then we have this, but left up. So that's the first thing, we're done. Super easy. Now just make sure, don't forget to put this. This is important for the next code I'm gonna show you. And let's start with our variables, our images. So first thing is recoil on our source strength. This is gonna be the default recoil strength. I have it always to five. Um, int recoil unders underscore x. So this is how much you want your x and your y to move. So I, for me, it's like, I don't have any x movement. So it's just zero straight. So that's how many you need to have, and then you do a semicolon. And then for this, we can copy this, but it's going to be one, two, three, four. All right. And then finally, the pattern. Okay, that's that. Let's define our colors.
All right, we're done with our colors. I got green, gold, light gray, and dark gray. Let's do the banner. So we're gonna do a new function, void underscore show banner. So the first thing you wanna do is clear the screen. Just like this, it's super easy on C++. Turned out pretty good. Well, I don't know yet, but I will soon. So let's just keep writing the code. The next thing is gonna be the recoil. So you're gonna go avoid recoil underscore thread. Try and put the recoil. Let's move on to the input thread. Input thread, so this is just to show, this is keybinds and the one to nine thing for the strength, which you'll see in a minute, which is what we've been building this whole time. And let's wrap it off with main. Of course, it's always main. If you know C++, you know. down or copy the code in the description. Let's build this thing and see how it looks. All right, let's look at it. Release. Ooh, that looks clean. So you can see you can just press one to 10 for different recoil strengths. Let's see if it works. That's the one. Let's see, 10. Oh yeah, that works. That's nice, that's great. 